guys, it's Super Dave here. Thank you for joining me for another of my No BS Reaction videos where I give you my honest opinion on some new piece of music that I've just heard. Some of them suggested by you guys, some of them I fish out of the ethernet, <laughs> the internets, the interwebs, and some of them just come my way because I get to hear of them and I decide I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna do a reaction video. A lot of what I do with these is push myself into areas of musically that I don't already know. Less familiar territory, less proggy or rock territory, and just see what else I can, I can learn about what's going on out there because there's a lot of stuff I still don't know despite the fact that I dig myself into a lot of different types of things that most people don't know. And yet at the same time, I can completely miss out on top 40 music altogether. It's the way it is. It's the way of the world when you are me. So this time I'm doing something that's again, expanding more into territory that's familiar, prog oriented territory. So this is a band called Raised by Hayes. And it's a band that as far as I know is pretty new. I've not heard the name before, but there's a lot of them out there floating around as much as I've dug into the prog world. And the progosphere, I have not fully caught on to every band that's out there. Some of them somehow continue to stay under my radar. Raised by Hayes, I'm not familiar with. It's just a band that's come up and I know, eh, seem to make a little bit of a wave here and there in terms of getting some attention. And it's new music. The song is called Freedom. And I'm going to give this a listen and see what it is. Is it going to be... Uh, more standard prog where it's, you know, you can see the clear roots to 70s prog, or is it going to be something else, something a little bit different, a little more mind bending, so to speak. We'll see what happens here. So raised by Hayes, freedom, buckle up. <laughs> Interesting. So the first thing I pick up on is this is probably what one would call a somewhat more straight ahead song in terms of progressive music, a bit more rock based than I was expecting. Uh, so in that sense, I can hear roots in more seventies rock or eighties rock. And I don't mean hair metal, but it's got that kind of sound to it. And judging by the length of the song, this is not prog in the sense that it's going to be one of those really long extended pieces. This is more short form composition. This is more straight ahead music than necessarily would expect. What I hear are layers of some complexity in there. And it makes me wonder too, what the rest of an album would sound like. Would this be something that's part of a cohesive conceptual theme or a story or something like that? So it makes me curious. And again, it's, it's something that I could hear maybe roots in, in music like Kansas or uh, even Sticks or something like that back in the day. And yet not quite, because I'm thinking the members are probably a bit young for that to be primary influencing factors for them, but perhaps influenced by artists, influenced by them. That being said, uh, unusual to hear a female vocalist still in the world of progressive music. The Progosphere just doesn't have a lot of female vocalists in it. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a sausage fest. Usually, almost always has been. Um, 
but I like her voice. It, it's a nice uh, mid-tone, you know, a, a alto or whatever. I don't know, tenorish alto. So a, a slight nasally kind of sound to it, I think, a little bit. But I, it's cool. I dig it. I like it. I also get the impression of someone that may be English as a second language because there are certain ways in which I'm hearing the vowels formed that are a little bit different than our, that I'm used to. It's enough that it catches my ear and stands out. And then again, that just may be the way she's singing, uh, maybe something part of the song. For an example of something that I mean, I would point you towards Red Hot Chili Peppers' Black Summer, um, where their singer, whose name escapes me at the moment, uh, sings in a somewhat weirdly overpronounced way for some of the lyrics in the in the verse in particular, the first verse, where for whatever reason he's overpronouncing, strangely pronouncing, strangely enunciating certain aspects of the songs, and it's like it sounds weird to the ear because it's not typical cadence or pronunciation that we're used to hearing, and in a song it stands out a bit like that because it almost was sort of. Uh, it just stood out. It was emphasized. There's the word I was looking for. And that I'm this I'm hearing a little bit as well. But I'm suspecting if I dig into this a little bit, I'm going to find out that they are from a primarily non-English speaking country. And maybe that's part of what I'm hearing uh, in that sense. We'll see. Sometimes accents disappear in singing. Uh, I can think of a number of them that... I know English is not their first language, and when you speak to them, you hear the accent, but when they sing, it goes away to a large extent. That's a little different here for me. It might be something that she just shows as a affectation in the way she sings and pronounces this, or it might be something else, but I, I like what I'm hearing so far. And at the same time, I'm saying it probably does not punch me in the mouth as something immediately memorable. So we'll see where it goes. It's enjoyable. I'm going to see where the rest of it goes. And uh, hey, see if it's like a good prog band, they got a nice instrumental section. <laughs> Interesting. Raised by Hayes, Freedom, and the rest of the song, pretty similar to the first half of the song, in a sense that I would say it didn't change up a lot. There was a little bit of a, an instrumental section there, not a heavy-duty long version. Very competent, very nicely done guitar solo there that I think shows a little bit of nice technique, but does not overstay its welcome, certainly by any stretch, and is not overly showy. I feel like this is a song written 
to be a single. It is, it is brief. It is to the point. It fits nicely in most radio formats, active rock formats. And honestly, I'm surprised to, that I located this through a progressive oriented outlet. I, I forget exactly which one, um, but I know it was there amongst a bunch of songs that were released for the week. And I said, you know what? This looks interesting. I'm interested in seeing where this goes and let's check it out. I enjoyed it. It's a nice enough song. And I think there's definitely that that sense in my mind and, and is probably what fueled the writers who put this in their list of songs that were released, that there's a bit of that Kansas or Sticks, that latter, latter 70s, Kansas, early 80s Sticks kind of stuff that was more radio friendly, a little less progressive, still had its proggy roots, but was a more accessible form of progressive rock. This one definitely has a more straight ahead rock feel to it in that vein where it gets in, it, it does its thing, and the lyrics and the music is straightforward and not overly complex. It's not overly indulgent, self-indulgent, so to speak, with the artists. It's not there for 20 minutes. It's a three, three and a half minute song. And yet as a very cool hook, it's got a nice chorus to it. She's clearly a very good singer. I'd be very curious to see where she is from because just the, the, the certain accent I hear coming through and the way she sings, especially the vowels, is interesting. And yet there are aspects of it too that strike me as almost kind of a blues-influenced vocal style that one might hear in a band like Dorothy or uh, The Pretty Reckless or something like that, which is kind of makes my mind think, I'm like, all right, so you got a three minute, 14 second song here, primarily rock based, not as hard rock or metal oriented as those other two artists. And yet there's a certain undertone of blues I hear to it that is similar to them that suggests to me, is this really as progressive as I might've been led to believe? If it's not, that's cool. I don't need everything to be progressive. It's just what I do. And it's just my favorite form of music. And I enjoy this song. I'd have to listen to it a little bit more before I decide whether or not it's something that would end up on my playlist somewhere along the line in my personal collection or on The Expanse, my radio station on Live 365. And frankly, I almost would have to probably get to the context of the album because where does this particular piece fit in the puzzle of the album? What's the rest of the album like? Is this just a short song by a band that normally is a bit more on the sleeve, so to speak, a bit more overt in their progginess or not? Don't know. The prog, mod, the prog noggin in me is, is curious. We'll see what happens. I have to probably check that out. Maybe I will get back to them in this format, or maybe I'll get impatient and check it out somewhere else instead. So uh, that's my thoughts on Raised by Hayes. Curious what your thoughts are. Drop some comments in there. Let me know what you think. If you know something about this band, share it with me a little bit. Give me some background on them. I'll do a little bit of research, but if they're particularly new, uh, probably going to be hard to find a lot very easily in the usual sources such as Wikipedia or something like that. Uh, I might have to look for articles and or interviews with them. So I'm very curious to, to learn more about them. They've got my attention and we'll see if I go back to them. Undecided at this point, there's so much to do out there. So we'll have to see what happens. So anyway, if you get the chance, if you're enjoying what I'm doing, you want to see more of the interviews and the reaction videos and the other prog oriented stuff, hit the like and the subscribe and the bell if you don't mind. Social media links are below. The link for my radio station on Live 365, The Expanse, is down there. That's all progressive rock and metal all day long. The classics to the modern, the mellow to the metal. Got it all. And, of course, that's it. Join me for this fun little ride that is Dave's world through the progosphere. Or just check out the other silly reaction videos I end up doing here and there. Either way, it's good to have you along for the ride. This is Super Dave, signing off.